The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Couple of showers here on this Friday afternoon out in parts of the NRV building through the region. So let's uh, go ahead and have a look at those showers. A couple of lightning strikes here within the last 10 minutes or so just north of Hillsville in northern Carroll County. Uh, Going to be tagging parts of Pulaski County here with a little bit of light rain just over the county line. But Hillsville, you guys are basically the only spot on the map right now seeing a shower. Light to moderate rain in some of these showers. Also some heavier stuff embedded in there with uh, some of the deeper pockets of red. Freeze and Galax, this little cell right here, going to be building off towards the east within the next 15 to 20 minutes or so. So expect another uh, downpour here very, very shortly. If we go ahead and zoom out, we do see that there are some isolated showers further to our south. That's basically what we're going to be dealing with all afternoon, all evening and all night long as this stationary front starts to build off towards the north and west. The flow is going to continue out of the south and west. So that's going to be uh, basically what we're looking forward to this upcoming weekend. So that means our cloud cover is going to be increasing hour by hour this evening. You notice that flow primarily out of the south, sparking up a couple of more isolated showers through about 10, 11 o'clock tonight. Then once we get into early hours of tomorrow, lots of moisture supply out there. So uh, likely going to see some widespread to numerous showers on our Saturday. Temperatures out there right now, 86 degrees here in Roanoke, 84 for the Hill City in Alta Vista, 83 down in South Boston. Pulaski also at 83, Stewart at 82, Hot Springs 76. Forecast around the area for tonight. Once we get into tomorrow morning, going to be a little bit warmer than what we saw uh, in terms of temperatures compared to this morning. We're actually going to get to 70 down in parts of Southside Lynchburg 68. Roanoke and the NRV 67, whereas Highlands will be at 66 degrees. Headed out the door first thing tomorrow. If you're going out, maybe trying to exercise, going to the gym, going to the grocery store, kind of need the umbrella first thing, at least through parts of noon. We'll have a little bit of a break in the rain, but you're going to want to keep that umbrella handy all Saturday long. High temperatures for tomorrow, not going to be too warm uh, because of the increase in cloud cover. So over in parts of the NRV like Withville and Hillsville, only going to get to about 74 to 76 degrees. The further east you go, the little bit warmer you get. Also, the further north you go, you get a little bit warmer. So temperatures just shy of 80 degrees for the most part, but some of us uh, further out towards the east get into the lower 80s tomorrow afternoon as we'll have a little bit of sunshine here and there. Let's show you future cast for tomorrow between the hours of 8 and 10 o'clock. We notice isolated to scattered showers. Then we start to see that streamlined flow continue throughout our Saturday. There are those little pockets of sunshine in there, especially parts of the NRV around the 5 o'clock hour. But notice still scattered to numerous showers maintaining themselves all day long on our Saturday. In fact, we'll actually start to clear up later as we head into our Sunday isolated to lingering showers will continue because it's been so dry recently. There is a flash flood risk in effect for tomorrow. Only a marginal risk, but still going to be uh, watching the potential for some flooding to take place in terms of your seven day forecast. Here is your last look at it. 40 to 60% chance of rain over the next seven days with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s and then looking to return to the 90s late next week. John.